yeah happy weekend guys welcome back to dance graphics but today we're looking at how you can create this awesome product manipulation design on your pixel please if you are joining us for the first time kindly subscribe to the channel then turn on the notification so that you always receive uh, a new tutorials whenever we share it that's it let's dive into today's lesson so i'm going to delete the text as usual and um right away i'm going to click on background i click on background click on the, from gallery to set the background so i already have um an awesome landscape background with me here that yeah, i would love us to use for the design so this is it here i uh, just use a square size make sure it's square so click on the one by one and you would put two go why i choose this background is because of this light effects here right it's awesome so after doing this we're going to import now um a kind of a storm so i have it here don't panic i will share the resources i use for this design with you guys okay so um let's reduce this in size a bit and position it in the middle so after achieving that um, okay let's check the cropping should be cropped properly so that it can be on the middle of our pitch so after achieving this we're going to step it down a bit and uh, let's go to layer and lock it up but before we go to layer we go to color filters increase the saturation and the brightness a bit then you can step up the contrast as well so let's click on the check mark go to layer and uh, you lock this up okay so the next thing we're going to do is to start bringing in some fruit elements like i said it's a fruit product manipulation design so i have these top elements with me here i'm going to reduce the size of this and conveniently place it here now copy this and add it up so that it can be true go to layer and lock this up so after achieving this the next thing we're going to do is to bring in some okay let's first of all bring in the fruit juice it's from orange juice so i have this first of all going to bring this and uh, position it just on the middle so we're going to position it here just like so and uh, you can use little position to make sure it's on the middle by clicking right here please as you follow the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to like the tutorial thank you very much okay so we lock this up and um, guys pay attention here because we are starting the manipulation okay it's an orange juice so i'm going to bring in this orange just crop it like so and after cropping as you can see it's a full orange but then go to cropping once you select make sure that uh, the orange image is selected then go to crop click on crop and look at what we're going to do guys we're going to reduce this and uh, just going to crop a section of the orange so we have something like this now let's go to size and uh, reduce the size to just about 20 let's reduce the size or oh, it upset it so let's reduce the size to just about 20 then um, use your position button control it and bring it closer to the fruit element now what you're going to do is to go to layer and push this okay send this orange to the back of the fruit can so we're going to send it down like so and where do you send it just by holding this eight dots pinning it and sending it to the back so what we're going to do still is to copy it so as you can see we have a duplicate of this and i'm going to add it up to the first one but as i add it i'll go to my rotation button and this is the rotation button here 
So click on rotation and uh, rotate it by minus three. Then copy it once again. Bring it. And as you bring it, position it. Just, okay, let's send it, send it, send it, send it to front, all right? Then uh, you use your position to place it just like so. Then uh, let's copy it once again and bring it. But this time around, we're going to rotate it by plus three. So remember, the first one was minus three. So this one, we're going to rotate it instead by plus three. Then we position it like so. Now, after positioning it, positioning it this way, go to import and let's import the fruit juice container. So all we're going to do is to crop it also, just the upper section of this fruit juice. Like I said, please kindly subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out whenever we bring other amazing tutorials. So we're just going to reduce the size of this to make sure that it sizes up with uh, the sliced orange halves. And confidently, we're going to place it just above the first one. And as you can see, everything looks perfectly intact. And we check and see that everything is okay. Proceed to import button to import again um, some orange elements. So I have some orange elements with me here. What I'm going to do is to step this down. After stepping it down, we're going to position it like so. Then go to import once again. And I have this other orange element as well. So I'm going to reduce the size of it. Reduce its size and uh, position it also here so that we have something like this perfect okay guys so what we're going to do now is to add some shadow here all right some shadow here because any 3d image i always say this any 3d image on a plane surface must cast a shadow so right away we're going to click on shapes just click on shapes and go to gradients then you click on the plus button this plus button will help you now to create your shadow so we're going to reduce the opacity of this all right let me take that again once you are on the plus button click on click here and click here to manipulate the first color so we reduce the gradient or the opacity of the first color and make it opacity free then click ok and then we're going to check right here and choose this fourth gradient pattern remember it's the one with a circular pattern all right sorry it's this one yeah the fourth pattern the circular pattern then we shift the transparent color or the opacity free color closer to the black then you click on your check mark and we have a shadow going to color with this uh enable your color and give it a black color and then compress it and uh, make it interesting so we're just going to size this up let's size this up carefully yeah. and what we're going to do is to go to our layer and like i said we're going to drag this from here from the eight dots right down behind every other thing except the except the tree trunk except this tree trunk okay so we're placing it behind all the orange manipulations that we did so that it can cast this shadow as you can see our shadow is right there so we can make it much more realistic and you can go to opacity and reduce the opacity of it a bit just to about 70 click on the check mark and you are good to go now if you look at this portion of uh, this manipulation there is light coming from here there is a light source so in order to reflect this same light on the product which we have here i'm going to go to import and import the same background so look at what we're going to do import the same background use a square to uh, use this one by one to crop it 
then you click on the check mark right here to continue and as you can see we have a duplicate of this background now we're going to size it up using 100 ratio just size it up to cover the entire background go to opacity uh, to your relative position and make sure it starts to the middle now what we're going to do is to go to the eraser and erase all this section of the background erase it completely and leave only the rest section with the light so right away we're going to erase uh, make sure that you have clicked the background then increase the size of your eraser increase the blurness as well now we can begin to erase from down here let's erase erase the portions that uh, we don't really need so we're erasing it all and you will see how everything will match up with uh, our design so once you are achieving that once you have achieved that click on the check mark and uh, we're just going to go now to opacity and reduce the opacity of the background to about 32 and as you can see or 35 as you can see the light effect is now being casted on the fruit element that is just exactly what we want to I wanted to achieve now the next thing that we're going to do is to click here on this middle button now lock this up and after logging it up click on import button and we're going to import another awesome fruit background this one i did it i manipulated it or i worked it out on uh, my pix app application so we're going to rotate it right rotate it rotate it rotate it and position it here copy it make a duplicate of it copy and position it here as well to cover the downer section of the background and as you can see everything is now perfectly manipulated hey guys you are watching product manipulation design on pixel app and this is dance graphics thanks for joining us if you are coming across the channel for the first time please kindly subscribe so go to layer now and log everything up once again so after logging everything up the next thing we're going to do is to bring in some leaf elements some orange leaf elements so as you can see there is a an orange branch here with some ripe oranges as you can see we're just going to make it look as if some leaves are falling from there that is the purpose of manipulation you have to think beyond the creative mindset so we're going to make a duplicate of this um, leaf then we copy it rotate it use relative position to place it like so then you can make a copy of it again and uh, make this one to be straight position it just like so not positioning it that way what we're going to do is to go and import other leaf elements but these ones are blurred so as they are blurred we're just going to size it up and reduce it then uh, and align them up just like so so guys this is just how you can do this awesome simple product manipulation design on your pixel app application i hope today's lesson was helpful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are part of the team that receives frequent design tips from us the resources i use for this design manipulation will be shared in the video description until we meet again thanks so much for watching